We begin with our coronavirus coverage on the path to 80%. Vermont is not there yet. The important milestone will have to wait another day with just over 3,000 people separating Vermont from that 80%. Local 22's Devin Bates joins us live in the newsroom with more from the governor's now weekly press briefing. Devin? That's right, Lauren. We might not have hit that target just yet, but it's worth looking ahead at what going back to normal will mean for those who have depended on motel housing through the voucher program or avoided an eviction because of the state of emergency. Vermont Human Services Secretary Mike Smith said it likely would have cost the state $100 million in FY22 to continue the motel emergency housing program, which has provided meals and rooms to roughly 2,000 people during the pandemic. Some will still be eligible to stay beyond July 1st, and there's a plan for those who can't. We are offering stipends to people uh, that are leaving the program to help them transition. We also have expanded shelter capacity. 30 days after Governor Phil Scott lifts the state of emergency, Vermont's eviction moratorium will expire, meaning at some point in July, those who have been able to hold on to housing since the pandemic started, despite an inability to pay, could face some uncertainty. But here too, state officials signaled there's going to be some support available depending on the person's situation. From what I'm hearing from some of the landlords, uh, that uh, some people are taking advantage of this situation. We'll see how this all sugars off, uh, but, uh, but we will continue to do whatever we can for those who legitimately uh, can't pay their rent, and we'll make sure that they have some place to go. Meanwhile, Governor Scott's goal of getting 80% of eligible Vermonters vaccinated with at least their first dose has proven to be a bit of a challenge. When it was announced on May 21st, about 28,000 Vermonters needed to step up to help meet it, and about 1,500 per day have been. Governor Scott had some advice for those who have been getting impatient or just don't see the point in waiting any longer. Go to their friends, their neighbors, their, their family, and uh, get them to get their vaccination so we can reach it sooner. We all need goals in life, and this was one uh, that I thought was attainable, which I believe, still believe it is, uh, and if we reach it when I think we will, will be more than two weeks uh, ahead of schedule. Governor Scott said misinformation about COVID-19 vaccines was a big topic of conversation during his weekly meeting with the Biden administration and fellow governors. He urged anyone with questions to ask their primary care physician or a trusted health professional rather than trusting what you might see on Facebook. Live in the newsroom tonight, Devin Bates, Local 22 News.